Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, good call. Good work. The Apsar Rupik is coming out now for Secret, so it is, of course, going to be the next Assassin offlane, unless they decide to switch it up, but I would be very surprised to see that. Okay, Jakiro offlane, but that hasn't happened in a while, so almost certainly next offlane for Kezu. Uh, Rubik picked up as well, and now Newbie with their last pick. Ten what are they looking for? Remaining. It's, again, that mid-hero, unless you want to send Jug mid, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Five seconds remaining. Not good. Not great. We Sniper! We'll see how this matchup turns out for mid one. Already you can see a little bit of damage going his way. Top lane though, KP getting zoned out. Here's that metamorphosis. It's already dual breath being used. The are coming in. There's the telekinesis. He's in some trouble. Does he have the anchor smash? He's only got the Kraken shell. He needs one more auto attack. The dual breath just narrowly hits and the meta won't get the kills. The apps were the last auto attack. Maybe they wanted to give it to MP, but not successful. Still, they get the kill regardless. The bottom rune spawn, good impale, and he's gonna grab it. It's a haste rune at that too. So that's kind of annoying that Kaka loses out on that. Nice job from Kezu. Yep, now Kezu's gonna go get the bounty rooms to infect Kaka. <laughs> it's just, yeah, Kaka's gonna be real sad in a moment from now. Mid lane, SCC, Rubik's coming in. Astral, they have the Telekinesis and Fade Bolt ready. SCC gonna get caught. See if they can't get this kill. Headshot's there, but not enough. He also got a second headshot, too. Mid one took a lot of damage, but Kezu also rotating over just to make sure they got the kill without him. And that's his second kill going the way of Secret early on in this game. Yeah, maybe we're kind of trying to just get their basic things going here. Them yeah, there's going to be the shrapnel. The void comes out. There's the frostbite. Good astral high. Gaps are coming in as telekinesis along with the fade bolt. Mid one's still probably dead here. He's going to try to turn on faith. Almost gets the kill. Now the void and the Apsor, but they won't dive the tower. So that's what you need to get done as a knight. Yeah, they're already leaving. <laughs> they say screw this. We're going mid. By the way, dire scan successful. So mid one is already backing off. He knows somebody's up in the high ground. It's the logical move to make. Meanwhile, there's the metamorphosis. Puppy comes up top as well. Anchor Smash does hit. Gush is now used as well. And MP slowed a little bit up. Dual Breath does not hit, by the way. And KP is going to be able to get out. And they know that without that Dual Breath, they won't be able to get this kill. So metamorphosis used to not much avail. Now Kaka walking up is invis. He's still level three. Crystal will come out. There's the void along with it. Frostbite's ready to go. There's the dual breath. They're going to try to get this kill. Reflections up. He's slowed down. He's got his salve. Now Kezu coming in, looking for an impale. Oh, oh that was no. some weird lag. You saw Kezu walk up and do pretty much nothing. I don't know if that was a an issue with him. I don't know what the hell happened there. I think everyone just lagged there. Kezu kind of just walked past two people. <laughs> Gave Ty a hug. The rest of these guys kind of just ran in circles as well. Hey, guys. What's going on? By the way, look at this line for a three-man stun. I mean, yeah. it's not easy because he has the animation. He's actually, actually mid-animation right, right now. Yeah, he's mid-animation. That's the latest. Oh, he canceled it. Good call. The Impale will hit up under the Tidehunter. And he's still salving up. One more auto-attack. They grab the kill. And Kaka is going to be next. Liquid Fire along with the auto-attacks from MP will get the job done. It's not good. Not not great. Definitely not great. Ty getting ganked again. Still level 4 up to level 5 now. Uh, Rubik mid taking a lot of damage. Void along with the assassinate to come out. Looks like they will get the kill. The hide was not there in time. Smoke came through but almost worked. Unfortunately not. So mid one's going to be next. We've already used the Crystal Nova along with the Frostbite. Void came out. That will secure the kill. So yes, they lose a couple heroes top lane. But they get off some big ganks mid for newbie. Pushing the tower by himself. Yep. Omni Slash. No, Yapsor. Oh, the Telkinis is slipping. The Void's going to come out and kill him. Almost certainly. Kaka rotates in at the perfect time. I don't know if they can get this kill after he revealed himself on the ward. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Level 2 Metamorphosis as well. I mean, He's going to come in, though. Smoked up and they're coming in right now. Yeah, they're trying. Sunder comes out. Vendetta Impale to come through. He's got Ravage. I don't think he'll get it off, nor does he want to use it. And mid one will come in, just auto attack once with his Arcane Orb and get the job done. Puppy might be forced into it. He's going to go for a TP. Is Ravage going to be committed? It will. He almost made it out there. Ravage used for Puppy. One hero down. But here comes Kezu with a haste vendetta. 
He wants somebody, and they're gonna find the Impale. On to three from Kesu. Sanities will be dropped down, but the Blade Fury gets off just in time for Mugi. Can he get out? KP completely out of mana. The Haste Run's still there for Kesu. They need maybe two or three more auto attacks between the two of them to get the job done. And of course, they're chasing elsewhere for that Tidehunter. They miss the Impale. He's still alive. The Shrapnel doing some work. They turn it around. They get the kill. Now KP finally getting chased down. Men 1 at least gets the kill on the Tidehunter, but they could have got the Jug as well. That's all he needs. He already has kind of a tricore here in the sniper tie jug combo. Yep. All he needs to do is do that utility here. Surprisingly enough, despite KP's deaths, he's ahead of the net worth of Kezu. Yeah, he is a tie, so farming is pretty good for him. Especially, again, like I mentioned, the, the new pets, which can minimally spawn time for camps. And they're going to head straight into Roche Gush, along with the jug and sniper. They can take this down pretty damn quickly, and you're seeing it here. It's already dropping. Very fast. We'll see if Seeker can get in and try to test this. This is gonna be close. Roche is already low as it is. Faith is gonna be the first. They've got the they've got the sentry ward vendetta about to come through. Will they get Roche? They will. And they'll grab the Aegis Macro Fire, drop down. There's the Ravage coming in. They'll drop Kezu. The Astral is there. They've got it. They'll pop it. They hit it onto three. Mogi is gonna get Telkin. He's the Astro solo. Sandy's comes out. Mid one though is gonna fall. It's a double kill for the sniper. And now terrible in trouble. Omni slash through. Needed a couple more auto attacks. He does have Sunder. He will get it off, but will it keep him alive? They're going to man fight. There's going to be the assassinate coming through, and that will be enough. It's an ultra kill for SC. That is a damn good fight for newbie. They do get the Aegis uh, at least brought down on the jug, but that was solid. Even with the stolen Ravage, newbie are able to win that fight. Impale will come out. We'll hit up on Nataka. Now coming in is Mugi. He's looking for another Blade Fury spin. Mid one, silence up and drop down already. Kezu getting chased. The Assassinate should bring the Absor down and absolutely will. A double kill spree for SC and a monster kill, kill streak coming out as well. Three dead. It's now godlike and they're looking for a fourth. Terror Blade is going to get dropped yet again and it is all of a sudden turning super sour for Secret. Kaka will pick up that one. Four dead yet again and Sniper continues to stand and deliver in these team fights, dealing most of the damage. Uh, it's again, like you mentioned, it is a slow death to see. You see if they're gonna get finished off here, or they're gonna take a big team fight. This BKB from OD is gonna be huge. It has to be if they want to stay in this game. Here's the Vedetta from Kezu. Again, they have that gem on the Nice Sucker, as mentioned previously. No creep wave, so. It is backdoor protected. Yes, we're at another point there. Coming in blank Ravage, though. The counter initiation from KP. And here comes the Jug. No Omni Slash. BKB Force. Good Impale coming out. They might get the CM out of this. Doing some damage, but there is the next. Sandy's dropped down. Not enough to bring anybody down. Ice Path coming in. They might get Moogie. He is at the edge of the base, though, and they will not go down to the low ground. So a bunch of abilities dropped and nothing gained for either side. Tons of Weird. ultimates used, meta used, but no real deaths here. Both teams able to disengage pretty quickly there. I like Yapsu's plays when he does this. He blinks right here and goes flip, but that time KP was ready. Blinks and counter initiates pretty much immediately. Bottom lane is still getting pushed out, but uh, we'll see if they can do any real damage to it. Rax mid now. Like 10 seconds from now. Yeah. I think there once that happens, Secret don't have any real damage to fight. They don't use the DKB in that fight. Another blank cell piece is coming in this time. They don't have Ravage. There's the Ice Tap. Can he get the cheese off in time? He does. And the BKB. The Omni Slash already going through. That's the Sunder. It's on to Kaka. These fights not really turning into any kills, but now they might. MP in trouble. Assassinate not needed. A couple of the older, or rather, Nielsen Procs coming in onto Puppy. He'll get dropped down as well. The Healing Ward is up and keeping Newbie fighting fit. Two dead. They both have buybacks, but it looks like they'll already lose the racks without even using them. And they're going to head bottom now for Newbie. Kezu looking for an appeal, hits it on a two. Here comes the buyback. Chris Nova doing some work. BKB back up again for mid one. Ice path again. They want to kill Kaka. Can they bring him down? Force not to the low ground. He might lose his gem, but he's still pretty damn tanky. And he might actually make it out. Mid one is going to be next. He doesn't have buyback. Dual breath coming in. Puppy trying to hold with his damnedest. Moogie's just jumping in. There's going to be the blade for you. Along with the assassin, Yapsor is dead again. He also has a buyback, but they are... I mean, they're leaking like a sieve at this point. There's not much they can do here. Everybody a little bit low on newbie. They need another healing ward, but that's up in 15 seconds. Mantis style to use it to continue this push. Now Gush coming in. Yapsor already below half HP. Good ice path onto three. Where's the max fire on cool after five seconds? Gilbreth coming in. Assassinate flying through. Yapsor will stay alive. Meanwhile, Puppy getting owned by these illusions and getting dropped down. 
Boogie's gonna go ahead and play Fury out. Macro Pyre coming through yet again, and this will signify the retreat. They'll try to get out. Assassinate still, and he's still alive somehow. 50 HP, Moogie makes it away, and they lose almost, well, pretty much literally nothing through that and through that entirety of the fight. This is time. They're smoking up, looking for the flank wrap around here. Yeah. Still uh, daytime for about a minute and a half. Yeah, and that's right as the darkness came, came down as well, so perfect timing for this. But again, these wards will see the fact that, well, they're not in their base or in the in their own jungle. They do have a vision on Kaka. A gem would be perfect. That That's exactly what they need. But he's already running back behind towards that tier 2 tower. And uh, he might cut across. We'll see if they can't find him. They do break. There's the ward. The ward they would like the sniper. Chance. Yeah, he walked right by it. As soon as he sees that ward gets dropped, they know exactly where he is. Jumping in, Yapsor, Blink, Telekinesis, Ice Pats, Forest Out, Macro Fire drops as well. Then one pops the BKB, KP pops the Ghost Scepter. Got that Ravage still standing. He's rather Astral coming in. SCC still doing some auto attack damage. And Moogie, they're on the chase. They pop the Fusel, and Puppy is going to go down. So too is Kezu. They've lost two. And uh, there's just... It's really hard to kill a Tidehunter when he's the first man in there. Right with the inevitable base push coming out. I believe Puppy might be dead. Silence coming out. There's the Void. SCC hits him three times. He pops the BKB as well as mid one forces himself up. It was trying to find an Astral. And mid one is going to fall as well, just like that. Down for 55 seconds. Kezu will be next. A triple kill for the sniper. SCC has been owning all game, and he continues to do so right at the end here, Brax. Yep, they kind of just fall over. There it is. Good game. Yapsor still He's got the wow in him at the very least. But uh, not, not the greatest first game for Secret. Again, it is a best of three series, but newbie, man. They look pretty damn dominant. I think that Night Stalker pick really paid off over in the first overall, the first two of them.